Hello friends, so in this tutorial we will be simulating a moving car on a bumpy road. So this system illustrates a moving car on a bumpy road. So I have written the equation of the same here. So uh, what MATLAB actually does is it solves this equation by using differentiation and generates a, a graph of the same. So I'll be considering these set of values for the constants in the equation and let's try to plot the graph in MATLAB. So this is a MATLAB workbench and here we can find out the Simulink workbench. So we'll just press start Simulink and for let's start with a blank model first. And so this is the table which appears. So here we can see library browser so by clicking this library browser we'll be able to find different sets of modules inside it there are n number of modules inside this library function so what we need for this particular exercise i'll be just dragging these and putting it into this window so for this set of exercise will be requiring an integrator first so we can find it more commonly used blocks from here so i'll just press and drag and keep it in to this window integrator and then we require a gain block so again press and drag and keep it here we require a sum block as well so here we can find out the sum block to add two sets of blocks we'll be using it and click here and we need a scope to display the overall result so we can again drag and keep it into this window so now we need a diff uh, derivative so we can find it in continuous so here derivative let's drag and keep it here and we knew we need a sine wave final block you can find it in source and here is a sine wave so so we've got everything can just zoom in and zoom out by a uh, scroll button so this window we can minimize it and we can enlarge this window and we'll be using these set of blocks to get the desired output so we'll start with the sine wave here and we'll drag this add command over here and by double clicking on this we can change the sign of this sum command from plus and minus if we require plus and minus or both positive or both negative based on our requirement we need plus or minus because we need to connect this to the last block so we'll just connect it from this arrow to this one and we need gain next here and we'll connect this one to the gain so value of the gain first gain i'll be considering it as 25000 so here you can find out that 25000 is nothing but newton per meter k value so the same I have implemented it over here again as 25,000 kilonewton and we'll be placing differentiator below it and connect this one to here we need another gain to connect ahead of differentiator for that we have a shortcut method we'll click this gain press and hold control key and drag here like this way and we'll just connect it from here to here and we'll 
put this value as 1000 Newton per meter. So we have 1000 and 25,000. So we need another add method some block. So again, we press control and hold and drag and keep it here. And we just connect it from this to here. And this this gain to this sum block. We'll change it to plus because these are going to add it forward. This one is minus because we need to put we need to connect a forward block to back again. So I'll be requiring another gain. So press and hold control key. Another gain. This I'll make it a one divided by five hundred kg to convert it into newton. We have considered it as five hundred kg. So because of the new uh, Newton, I have considered it Newton per Newton per meter. So that is the reason why I will be dividing it by 500. And we will just connect it from this one to here. And this gain not over. Now we need derivative integrator to connect it over here. And we will be needing another integrator. Mm -hmm. Control connect it here. So control paste. So I just connect it from this one to here. So we'll and this is the final block scope to display the overall you know, graph. And let's just put this one back to this sum block so minus plus. So it's almost ready our circuit diagram and final block is to connect the scope to the entire circuit. So connected it to the entire circuit. And now let's just double click and sign here and here we can see we can put or change the values of amplitude and frequency. We'll consider amplitude as 0.2 amperes and frequency in radians per second will put it as 3 radians per second and press ok so we have put all the values inside this block all the all these values inside the circuit diagram in these blocks so by pressing space bar you can see it got magnified so that we can see clearly all the blocks and we'll just verify all are connected to each other so this seems to be complete and let's just run and check the result by pressing this command run so it's getting generated now converted or run fully and let's just double click on this scope to check the graph so it's getting generated or not so here we can see the plot not generated like this way so in this we can find out that the curve is not smooth it has pointed pointing towards something it's not smooth curve smooth so i'll we can change this one to smooth by a method we'll go to simulation in that model configuration parameters so here we can see that and let us enlarge this one and here we can find a command or as maximum step size it is auto let's just run change this to 
point one and check the result. Press OK and let's just once again check the result. So it's slightly getting curved smooth but it's not perfectly curved so we'll go again to simulation model configuration and try to minimize this by further 0 0.01 and press ok and let's run it once again and check the graph now so here you can see the graph is perfectly smooth and there are no pointing uh, stuck, uh, pointing in the graphs so this is what the graph we intended to plot and we got the result exactly so just can we can close this one so this was about the uh, uh, graph about a uh, bumpy road uh, about our car moving on a bumpy road this was all about the tutorial. Thank you.